All right, so we have three tickets left. I can go ahead and buy other stuff. Let me check my gun upgrades. I mean, if you just want to sell me guns in general, I would like that too. I think buying two more shotgun blasts would be good. Because that's just been an incredibly effective weapon for us. At least against bosses. Alright. I don't know what's down here. For all I know, this could be leading to the ending of the game. But I have a huge amount of curiosity. Okay, there's kind of like an undercity or an undercore area. Are we built on top of the remains of the old city? The ones that we saw get destroyed beforehand? Or is it again something that is still existing and that we're going to be the ones to destroy? I don't know. Oh, invisible platforms. I'm glad the ancient civilization decided it was worthy enough to go, Hey, what if someone gets down here? Uh, just make invisible platforms. They won't decide to go out. Wait, did you see that? There was... Oh, God. It's watching. The tentacle monster is watching me. We're getting close to its domain. We don't even have a place on the map. <laughs> this place is just ancient. No one knows what's down here. Because they probably are all dead. Oh boy. You saw that boss door. Oh no. I might not be prepared for this. Okay, we're seeing a bunch of dead bodies, or people who were studying in labs, and then their creation went loose. I don't know. Oh, thank God. Thank you, game devs. Thank you so much. Okay, so the X and A is basically like, the most dashy attack that we could have had. <laughs> Good to know. Hmm. I guess this is it. We head to the core, we re-reach out to it. And then it'll reach back out to us. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look like it's doing so hot. I'm not doing so hot, honestly. All right, giant tentacle monster, dude. This is it! This is our battle! You've been haunting my dreams and- oh boy. Threatening to murder me. <laughs> and I don't appreciate that kind of stuff, honestly. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> he just obliterated my ass right there. Let's do this. Fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're not doing as well as we did beforehand. We did a large chunk of damage to this guy in that first round without taking any damage. And now I'm just fucking up. All right. So it's just like the other bosses. I need to focus on dodging. He telegraphs his attack pretty hardcore. The problem is, if you get caught up in it, you're fucked. Oh, that's a different attack. <laughs> he didn't use that one beforehand. Oh, Jesus. I don't understand this one. Oh, that's my own fault. You almost got me there. What the hell do these do? Do these designate where he's going to attack? And so if I go over to this left area, ah! <laughs> okay. Nice, he hit me there. Oh, he got a third attack. Okay. We got him down to a third of his health. We got him down to the third of his health. We can do this, guys. I just have to be really determined. And do a better job of dodging these, fu these fucking first attacks. These ones are piss easy to dodge, and I've been getting hit by them constantly. Oh, he fucking aimed that one well. Okay. We're gonna heal. So what I need to do, is I need to start nailing down... Oh shit. What? He got me from behind? I was behind his character model! Oh, I've been ripped off there. But my biggest problem is... I need to start being able to do the full dodge. Like the series of dodges that'll keep me alive better than everything else? Yeah. That's... I keep fucking up my timing, man. But we can do this. We can do this. This guy isn't so bad. So we have to wait for him to, uh, to start actually having his health bar. Or come out towards us. Then we just start charging forward. I don't even know if these things hurt you. I mean, obviously they do when they explode. <laughs> oh, that one was a little bit weirder for me to try and dodge. Because they just, they split themselves up very evenly and I was sitting there going, fuck, where do I go now? <laughs> okay, guys, we can do this. Let's be serious. how he gives up if after you hit him to his second phase he's just like yeah this other attack fuck that it's not working out okay i think we'll be safe up here i'm dead <laughs> that fucking attack that one is really easy to dodge but it's really hard for me to predict where he's going to shoot it at because he sometimes shoots it straight at you and sometimes he just fucks off and shoots it off to the side. And when he shoots it off to just a random side that you're not on, it's easy as hell, right? It's like, oh, that's not close to me. I'll be fine.
This is it. I can do this, all right? If I play my cards right, we play this super safe, we'll be good. I just played this fucking... I just played him hard right there. Oh my god. Ooh, he played me back. All we need to know is that directly behind him is a safe area. So if we lead these crystals over to the side. This makes it super easy to dodge. That's getting faster. He's stepping his game up. But it doesn't matter because I got the shotgun game on point, boy! Okay. We stabbed the core of this place. And now I'm probably just going to die here, but maybe we can leave. Maybe we can still get out. Hey, dog. Just going to lead me out? Okay. Were you part of the core? Were you part of the system? Did you know that I was going to come here and stab the corrupt core to death? Because I tried. I really tried, and we got it done. But my reward for such a victory doesn't seem to be going very well. This isn't a place we were at beforehand. Where are you taking me, little dog? To another ancient temple place? Oh. Lovely. And you're just gonna watch me die? <laughs> Well, okay. So that was and that did end up being the end of the uh, the last boss of the game. Whoops! I could have. <laughs> there were a lot of areas we didn't go to. I mean, all those keys we hardly had half of them. There were 16 total keys that you could end up getting to fill up the entire bar, and we didn't even have like six or seven of them. So we missed a lot. There were a lot of areas I, I didn't go to. Uh, there is a new game plus. But obviously we went through the main story and I don't know if there's anything really new besides enemies being a little bit harder, having a little bit more health, and you obviously starting off with all your abilities that you bought in New Game Plus. But I guess this was this was an interesting experience. Um We don't know the entire story. I don't know if I missed a lot like I don't know if those key areas might have had some more information for us or if we're just supposed to operate with what we saw from what we can gather from what I saw I guess there used to, there used to be some kind of ancient civilization and at some point 
they had like this giant core thing and it got corrupt and when it got corrupt everybody died and it got sealed away and we just and more societies kind of came by later on and formed directly onto it and then they found out about these other kinds of technology and tried to tap into it themselves which led to more of the monsters coming out and more people dying but there was still some safety inside the city and when we activated all the four different corners of the area we activated the ability to go down into the core place and save the area and if we were to look at the and if we were to imagine the dog is kind of like trying to lead me into that place i guess you could say the dog was a good character was a good guy was maybe the the uncorrupt side of that core speaking out to us to let us know hey get to this core because if you don't if this thing is allowed to get activated and then not die and not get killed off it's gonna destroy everything and everyone and that's how we started off the game seeing the vision of everything getting destroyed and that threw me for a loop because I'm like, fucking, are we, are we like survivors of this? Oh, no, we're not. We're just seeing visions. Well, what's real, what's not? I don't know. But we have a good idea now. We have a general good idea now. This was fun. This was a fun experience. Uh, this was, this, there are a lot of games. There are a lot of old games that I never really played, like games uh, like Castlevania or the Metroid games, or the Legend of Zelda games, and this kind of reminds me a lot of those, of like those older variations of them. Uh, it has a lot of the same kind of themes, or not really themes, let me, let me, it has the same kind of progression where as you go on, you're getting more and more kinds of abilities, uh, and so the enemies also start kind of ramping up and getting a little bit harder, and you're fighting all these different bosses, and that's fun! The general gameplay of this game is actually fun. It was a little bit frustrating because there's kind of, it feels like the devs of this game had a lot of leeway. They gave the, they gave the player a lot of leeway. They gave the game or the player of the game a lot of leeway to make things easy. And then there were parts where they did, it didn't do that exactly. And it conflicted because you're trying to do all these maneuvers and you're like, oh, they're shooting projectiles at me. I'll charge the projectiles and go through them and then trying to attack them. And then it turns out, lol, just kidding, you were slightly a few frames too far, and that screws you over. Now, obviously, that's a that's a get good kind of thing, right? That's a get better at the game, recognize how far away you have to be from the projectiles, recognize the frames, recognize the timing kind of thing. But it was just kind of frustrating because there's a lot of those moments where I'm like, okay, well, it's next to me, dodge, and then I get hurt. And I'm like, well, fucking, if I didn't have this stupid thing, I wouldn't have tried dodging into it. I would have dodged away from it. And there's just that little bit of a conflict where... Again, some parts were, they give you a lot of leeway. They give you a lot of leeway for the frame timing for the dodge maneuver. But then it could still kind of screw up. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm really coming across directly. Oh, hey, I can speed things up a little bit. But generally, I like the gameplay of this. I like that it was ramping up as time went on. I felt more and more like a badass. And I'm a big fan of games that do that. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of games that have a progression of your character and not in like a ridiculous way. We didn't like get an increase to our health bar. We just increased how many health kits we have. We didn't get uh, new kinds of weapons. I mean, we kind of did. We got like new kinds of guns that we though we missed four of them or three of them. And I don't know if that's my own fault, or if that's gonna be a new game plus kind of thing. Like I go back and I find better variations of those guns or something, I don't know. But in this first run through of the game, in this first run through of the game, it was fun. And obviously the visuals are very nice, and I guess that's really all I can say. The story is very, eh, it's one of those kinds of games where they just go, hey, we're gonna try and tell the story through the environment and a couple of non-dialogue things, which is fine. I just feel it didn't really resonate with me too well because I feel like I might have missed some stuff. Like I didn't get the full picture. There's too much not answered that I just have to kind of assume, which frustrates me with stories. I like knowing directly what happened here. Why did this thing get corrupted? Is it because they tried to push it too much? What the hell was the purpose of the giant core? Did it power everything? Did it power all the giant stuff? Was the civilization did it get corrupted and those giants tried to attack the other civilizations and they had to fight for themselves? I don't know. <laughs> we don't have the full answers. We have slight answers and assumptions that can be made. Oh boy. All right.
So if I come back here, it comes back, and I can fight it again, we're just gonna let it kill me. And you can actually continue from this point onwards to explore, I guess. So this isn't, I guess, New Game Plus. This is just... Alright, you can leave. <laughs> you can go back to exploring because you know that that was the end of the game. You beat the end of the game. You beat the final boss of the game. And the final boss actually wasn't too bad. In fact, all the bosses weren't that bad at all. Uh, they definitely provided a bit of a challenge in some cases, and I'm sure that in New Game Plus, when they can probably chunk off half your health bar, if not all of your health bar in a single attack, that's when things are gonna get really, really crazy. But the boss themselves, they, they just... If I had to summarize this game up, it's just... fun. <laughs> There's just a lot of fun to be had in this game, even though there are a good number of, of frustrating mechanics here and there, just because of... Uh, uh, either my own failings as the player, or because of game design things such as, like, the map. Like, fucking navigating the world is a bitch. <laughs> like, I'm trying to find certain things. I'm trying to find key doors that I might have missed, secrets that I might have missed, and it's hard to tell because I don't know what areas I have been to and what areas I haven't been to. Now, let me look at the map. So, does it... Did it update, and now is it going to show me every single place? Every little module that I missed? No. It does not reveal those. That's fine. I don't- I don't- I, <laughs> It's- I don't mind certain things being hidden away. Secrets are obviously good. Exploration obviously needs to be rewarded. I just feel like exploration should also be rewarded in making a map. I mean, we were able to have- look at these. The modules get placed on the map. The boss areas get placed on the map. And so you're telling me I can't just go, oh, that's a key door, and then slap that on there? Yeah. But overall, this was a fun experience. I want to see... I'm going to quit to the title. I want to see what happens if you, like, start a new game plus. Is there even, like, save slots, or is it all just one character? <laughs> I'm not even sure. I didn't even mention anything. It just puts us back to the main menu. Ah, here we go. New game plus. And there are save slots. Neat. So we put eight hours into this. <laughs> Three of those hours were because of the dash challenge. Replace the save? I don't want to replace the save. I don't want to replace the save. I actually want to keep it. Because maybe one day I'll explore. I don't want to start a brand new game. <laughs> what if I start a new game? No. Alright. You know, we're gonna we're gonna end off here. It is a little bit sh I wanted I wanted this game to last a little bit longer. Uh <laughs> I'm sad that I rushed down it and fought that boss, but it became available. I was naturally curious. I wanted to see what would end up happening down there. And, well, we got it. We fought the final boss. We have, like, a vague idea of what the general story is. We explore the large chunk of the environments. I say we got probably, like, 60 to 70% of the game explored uh, in terms of, like, actual environments. Collectible-wise, obviously, we definitely messed up, but I'm wondering if there was any kind of difference, like... Were they just achievements? Or did you actually get something if you got all eight modules for every single place? I don't know. But... I'm gonna end off here. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was... Enjoyable. I, I felt like I, I... In this game, I felt very confused for a very long period of time. Because there were just things I wanted to, like, know... That weren't getting answered. And that just led to, like, an overall feeling of confusion and frustration but overall the rest of the game was fun and for i believe this game was only like 20 bucks this was very very good i i i enjoyed this a good bit and if i i'm sure that somebody will piece together all the general story they'll explore this game 100 percent and they'll find out all the information and then they'll just compile it and it'll be like dark souls really where you know you play dark souls and you won't know the story and you might not even get all the items to even generally picture, put together a story, but, you know, as a community, people will gather around and piece it together. Find all the things there. Although this game doesn't have anything drastic, like little pieces of, of loot that tell you, this was found hidden away in an ancient temple. And because of that ancient temple, it can be found out that... The ancient civilization were a bunch of really crazy fanatics. Yes. Let me check one thing. Hello. 
<laughs> there are a couple of places that got opened up, and I guess we could out talk to folk. There's a fucking fall off there. That's so mean. But after you defeat the bosses of places, more areas open up. And they, like, hint to you what opens up what, I guess, by telling you the direction. So, like, if we clear out the boss on the left, this opens up. If we clear out the boss up top, this opens up. That's interesting. Whoa! Hello, what's going on here? Oh, it's a goal kind of thing! Oh! That's fun! Oh man, this guy's extreme. Nope! Ow! God, he hit me! Whoa! Calm down, boy! Calm down! Who would have thought? This is how we end our days! Getting our asses kicked by a little monster! Or I guess a little boy. The pro at soccer. We gotta knock it by him. Ow! God, I blew myself up. We gotta knock it by him. And then it becomes easy peasy. Can I shoot it? Oh, God. You can shoot it to kind of like navigate it. That's neat. Okay. There's so much to this game that I haven't explored. This is a really cool thing. This guy's kicking my ass. Bye. <laughs> so I want to see what what's down here. Because there was a huge secret door that we didn't... Or two secret areas. That I want to see what was inside of them before we fully end this off. Now was this just an, uh, a key? A key piece? Or an outfit. Holy shit. We got a gear bit. And a key piece. <laughs> so if I want to do more exploration, I can. I actually kind of feel sad that I'm probably never going to fully explore this game. Just because, I mean, there are other things that I will, I have to do. <laughs> I have to do... I have to play other games. And so now that I've beaten this one, I just kind of move on. And maybe play it on my off time. Just maybe slightly, but... I doubt we fully will. Now let's see what was down here. Whoops. Okay. Alright. I see what you want me to do. You want me to go fast? Alright! I gotta go ultra fast! Ha ha! <laughs> you can beat me! I know how to handle myself. And so that was all that was down here? Just another module piece? I'll take it. <laughs> that was a fun little challenge to do. Oh, and then they just build a pathway back. I was ready, man. I can totally get back without, without that help. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll go back without the help. It's hard to round those corners. <laughs> it's hard to round those corners when the camera's moving around with you. And it doesn't show you what's ahead. Alright, well. We've done our little extra bit of exploration. We know that there's quite a bit more to be had with this game. We we are missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are missing ten module pieces, and that means quite a lot. You know, there could be entire areas with new enemies, new bosses. We don't know. But for now, I'm going to end off this Let's Play, and maybe if a lot of people say, Hey, you know, I actually do want to see you try and just randomly explore around then I can come back but for now we're gonna end off here thank you guys for watching this let's play again hopefully it was enjoyable I enjoyed this game quite a bit if I had to give it a rating 
I'd give it a 9 out of 10. This was very enjoyable despite the fact that I felt very confused for a lot of things and some mechanics didn't really jive well for me. Uh, but once I started getting things down, this game really became something else. This is one of those games where you can replay it and master it and just get like really insanely good. I mean, look at this room over here, this fucking chalice that I got 817 dashes in, in around this area. And I'm sure there are going to be people who get really good at this game and can go for a thousand or two thousand. Although, I don't know why you'd ever try and go two thousand. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. It takes a long time to do this. I mean, like, you literally have to do this for five to ten minutes to get the second uh, door open. And that's a long time to go without any mistakes whatsoever. But this is one of those games. This is one of those games where you can get really skilled at the abilities. I never even used the fucking XA thing on any normal enemies. And so it just kind of becomes a platform to have a good bit of fun. And I'm sure, and again, New Game Plus, when you're fighting against the enemies and they actually have a lot of survivability and a lot of damage, then skill really, really becomes necessary because you're gonna have to, like, dodge around them in crazy ways and then bash them in with heavy attacks. But we're good enough here. Thank you guys for watching.